Connecticut is in trouble. We've got a very weak economy, very slow job growth, shaky uh, education funding. And here in Fairfield County, we've got a transportation infrastructure that's uh, crumbling, as witnessed the walk bridge right here in Norwalk. Uh, and as a result of this, uh, more businesses and people have been leaving Connecticut than, than, than coming in. There's that uh, half the people who answered that Gallup poll recently said they would just as soon leave Connecticut. One political party has completely dominated the state legislature for uh, continuously for year after year for almost 40 years. And because of that, they've been getting nearly everything they've wanted. And that has swamped us with uh, irresponsible spending and sky-high taxes and sky-high debt to pay for it all, along with uh, a, a, a great many ill-considered regulations that have been killing jobs. Without a healthy economy, you, can't, you, can't, you don't have the resources to, uh, uh, to strengthen education, to strengthen public education. You don't have the resources to uh, protect the environment, to protect our open spaces, to protect our shoreline. In short, we need, uh, we need to, re to restore Connecticut to, as, as a great place to, to live, to work, to, to, uh, to raise a family. And as a place that is affordable enough to retire in if, if, if we choose. So as, as the next state senator from Norwalk and Darien, I will not vote to raise taxes or increase overall state spending by one dime. I will work to uh, roll back any taxes or fees or regulations that threaten to kill jobs or drive people away. There are 45,000 fewer people in the Connecticut workforce than there were at the start of the Great Recession in January of 08. And I know that my opponent and uh, Dan Malloy and other people are, uh, go around saying that we've, we, meaning I presume they, have created X number of jobs. The fact is we're still down 45,000 jobs from where, where we were in 08. And uh, most other states are at 100, they've recovered 100% of the jobs they've lost during the Great Recession. I think only uh, you know, just a handful of states, including Connecticut, uh, still have not recovered all the uh, jobs lost. And that's directly re the result of, of the huge tax increases that uh, Malloy and uh, Duff and their uh, like-minded legislators have done to the state. The government in Hartford, the Malloy administration, goes into some back room and picks out uh, some large, a handful of very large, su successful companies like Bridgewater, and takes other people's money and commits it to them to either stay in Connecticut or uh, do other things that the governor likes. And I mean, most people know that you can't, uh, the, the, the job of government is not to pick winners and losers. They, they can't do it. Uh, the job of government is to incentivize all business general, businesses generally, or job creators generally. 
uh, and uh, create a, a climate for everybody to to uh, to thrive, not to pick certain favored companies to do special favors for. Uh, that's just the wrong approach. It's just wasteful and inefficient. The property taxes are affected, as I said earlier, by the uh, by the lack of uh, the way we're being treated by the by the current formulas. It's grossly unfair to Norwalk. We're being treated like our much wealthier surrounding communities. The whole gold, we're part of the Gold Coast, right? So the, the formula treats us that way and the, the net result is we lose millions of dollars a year. I don't think anyone's done a careful calculation, but I hear estimates that uh, if, if, uh, if the ECS formula were treated us the same way as they treated um, you know, the, the average city, we'd be up by 20 or 30 million dollars a year. And uh, to the extent that we miss 20 or 30 million dollars a year, that has to be made up with property taxes. I think Fairfield County contributes about almost two and a half billion dollars a year to the state coffers. A little less maybe, 2.48 or something like that. And we get back something like 336 million, if memory serves. So we send up to Hartford two and a half, almost two and a half billion, we get back like a sixth of that. So it's not Darien or Westport having to fund Norwalk, it's, it's the rest of the state that uh, needs to bear a, a greater share of the cost. Yeah, the Democrats have had a supermajority, right, for the last, currently? And they've had a supermajority for most of the 36 or 38 years that they've had majorities, which means it almost didn't matter what party the governorship was under, they could override the governor's veto. Governor Rell vetoed the uh, last budget in 09, didn't she? I think she did. And the Democrats immediately overrode it. I mean, uh, the Democrats were refusing to come to the table to, uh, to, go, to discuss any spending cuts And uh, that's why Malloy was bequeathed a, a, a huge deficit, it's because his own, his, his own party members in the state legislature had spent like, uh, like drunken sailors. And it's easy to, oh, Republican governors share a lot of the blame, that's true. But, uh, uh, but the, the main problem is, is the uh, Democratic supermajority that has had the run of the House for too long.